Hello, friends from the internet. Welcome to Jamil Giral. I am Jamil Silva, and in today's episode, we're going to learn how to add cards in Anki using Excel. We're going to uh, have the, the, the sentences in Excel, and we're going to export this to Anki. But first of all, let me give you a, a, just a little bit of um, context of this. Uh, when I'm studying Duolingo, I finished the lesson hiring, and as long as I'm studying, I'm writing the sentence in French and the translation that the program gives me. And when it's when I finish studying everything the, the way I did here with all the five lessons, it's time for me to place them in Anki or to add those cards in Anki so that I can review them later uh, in my own time and uh, I have more, more, more capability of grasping the words per se. So that's what we're going, going to do today. For example, here I have 130 sentences in English and French, and that's what, what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not going to transfer all those sentences now because uh, it's going to take a, a little bit of time. So I'm going to transfer less so that it can be uh, an example. Let's see how many sentences. One, two, three, four. Let me uh, move five sentences. Now, uh, after selecting them, I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy them and I'm going to press Ctrl N to open another Excel uh, app for me. Now I'm going to press Ctrl V and uh, let, let me just understand what I did here. Uh, in this Excel, I transfer five sentences. Column A is French and in column B is the translation. That's it. And this part is over. Now I have to close Excel. I press Ctrl F4. And before I press save, uh, you, you, you name your file the way you want. Uh, you go here to options because you're going to choose a place to save your file. And once you choose a place to save your file, you have to change the extension that it needs to be saved so that Anki can recognize the cards. Uh, let me see. The extension you're going to choose is CVC UTF-8, uh, comma uh, delimited. Let's choose the, this and just now save the sentence. And now we go. We're going to go to Anki. In Anki, it's very, it's quite simple. You go to File, Import because I want to import cards to Anki. Uh, I'm using only five sentences, but it could be all of them. Now let's choose import. Now I'll choose the file book two. That, that's the one I saved. I, I, I'm going to go to the location where I saved. Now let's open it in Anki. Uh, before I do something, I have to inform Anki. Uh, a little bit of information so that the, 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 the cards go to the right place. For example, I have some decks, Duolingo, which uh, uh, contains all my, my my cards that, that I, when I'm studying only in French, and it's over 60, 60,000 cards, so it's quite a lot. But, but I'm not going to send those cards for, for Duolingo now. I, like to, I want to send them to the temp deck because it's easier to deal with them here now. I have less cards because I, I'm going to do something else, and when they are here in temp, it's going to be easier for me. So the first configuration that I have to do is going here to, temp, to deck, and choose the card where I want to import those, those cards. Uh, I'm going to choose the deck where I'm going to, to import those cards. Now let's choose field one is equal to Excel A. So it, French is going to French, then it's OK. Field two is equal to, it's going to go to pronunciation. And uh, this is not what I want. Then I have to map and let's change this. I want to send the translation, not to the pronunciation tab. I want to send it to the translation uh, field. Then I choose the translation field. I will, I'm going to map this to the translation field. Choose OK. And then I'm going to uh, choose import. Now I have here five notes that were added to uh, Anki. Now let's go back to Anki. Here in my temp deck, I have here the, the cards. As I imported five cards, they will be double because I'm going to have the translation and the, the, the sentence in French. But I want to do something, something more. I'm going to press letter B 
so, so that I can call the, the browser for Anki. In letter B, I, here I have my Duolingo deck with my 68, uh, I said 66, but I'm always adding cards. Uh, I'm gonna go to Temp. Here in Temp, I have 10 cards that I added. Actually, it's five, but as it added the French and the translation, it uh, doubled it. Now I want to add tags and the pronunciation. Let's add tags first. Uh, to add tags, you click here in this panel, press Ctrl A to select them all. I'm gonna go to Duolingo. I'm gonna write this name here, hiring. Let's go back to Anki. Now I'll go to notes, add tags, and I'm gonna write the tag that I need to write. Oh, hiring is already here because I was recording this in Portuguese. If you want to listen to this video in Portuguese, you can go to my videos and you, you can do that. Now let's press OK. Now each card is going to have the tag hiring. I can move to any card is going to have hiring. And hiring is a lesson. It represents a lesson in Duolingo and it can be here. It, you can, it can be found here together with the other tags. Each tag is a Duolingo lesson. And hiring, let me go to hiring. Hiring, where is it? It's in alphabetic order. Oh, it's already here. Okay, now um, one next step that I want to do. Uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to do this right now. I'm just gonna show you. I, I can teach you how to do this in a later episode. I'm gonna now add the sound. Once again, I'm gonna press up here in the first sentence. I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select them all. Now I'm gonna use an add-on called Awesome TTS. I'm gonna choose Audio to select. Uh, here I have the configuration set for me. Uh, the fields, everything is already set for me. Uh, as I'm not gonna teach you now about this, I'm just gonna generate the cards. And now it's going to start generating all the five cards. And now it's over. It has uh, imported the sounds. It has downloaded the sounds from Google, and it's okay. I'm gonna press OK. But just, 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 just read here the five notes that you selected has have been processed. Processed. Let's finish here. And now I have uh, ten cards, and uh, with the ten cards, I have now a card in French pronunciation and the translation. For the translation, if you want to check it out, if everything is okay, let's preview the card. Il faut que tu montres que tu es sûr de toi. Okay, this is the pronunciation I have. I sometimes add some notes to help me remember and I keep organizing them, and this is something that you can do. Well, as a final step, let me go back here. Actually, it's 15 cards now because each card has one sentence in Duolingo generated three cards, the French pronunciation and translation. Now let's press, uh, let's click in the first sentence and press Ctrl A again, because I want to do a final step because it's over. The, the cards that I wanted to, to work with, it's over. Now I'm gonna send them to my main deck called Duolingo. And for this, uh, I'm gonna click in the first sentence, press Ctrl A to select them all, pressing cards, change deck, I'm gonna place them in Duolingo to be together with all the other cards. Now move, now they are in the deck Duolingo. And that's it. You've learned how to bring new cards to Anki using Excel. As you can see, you can send lots of cards at once. So this is it for now. I hope you have, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you do, maybe you could consider uh, subscribing to the channel and liking this video. It's very important to me and I'll be very happy and I will thank you for that. So I hope to see you in our next episode. Bye bye.